So in the recent update, Valve changed how your graphics on Hammer Editor look, and I thought people were just all butthurt, but now that I'm looking at it, this looks terrible. So what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial is fix it because they changed the graphics and rightly so you should be able to map in full. I mean look at this, that's all pixelated and crap. So I'm going to show you how you can fix this and get your hammer back to looking good. Okay, so what we're going to need for this is GCFscape and that's it. So you want to browse to your Steam directory and go to Steam Apps and open up base source engine 2 gcf and you want to go to bin inside here and scroll down to see dx support that cfg drag that onto your desktop or somewhere now browse into your steam account and go to source sdk bin orange box bin drag this here and then you want to open it with a text editor i'm going to use notepad plus plus so with the update it now uses your DirectX level to detect what graphics to set it to most people will be running 9.5, that is DirectX 9 and higher. So if you have a DirectX 10 card on 7 or Vista, that's fine. If you're running XP, you might be lower. I'm not quite sure how this all works for DirectX levels. But to change your graphics, it's relatively easy. You want to set CVAR mat underscore pick MIP to negative 1. Now, this number can be changed to four different things. Two is very low, one is medium, zero is high, negative one is very high. Now, let's say you change it for nine five, and here's the direct X level here, the nine five, so this is nine and higher. If you change it for nine five and it doesn't work, try changing it for nine oh. And if that still doesn't work, just keep going up the list until you get one that works. You really can't screw anything up by changing the pip mic so you should be good with that now after you've changed that and saved the file open hammer go to file we're gonna reopen our map here and we're gonna see if this looks like crap or not so at the beginning that it just looked terrible absolutely terrible I can already see that it looks better look at this now we have detail on all our textures I can read trigger I can see that this is a light the machines aren't all blurry so this was my quick tutorial on how to get hammer to look good again thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe